We continue our inspirational true story series and welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, founder and director of Nga Rangatahi Tour, Sarah Longbottom, who's here to share with us all why love is not an option, love is everything. Welcome to the couch. Morena, thank you very much for having me. Now, Nga Rangatahi Tour, mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about it. What is it? Um, Nga Rangatahi Tour, NRT, as many people refer to us as, is a an education and creative arts based organisation and we really hold at the core of what we do the vision of before you teach me you have to reach me and we connect and engage through classroom programs and performance projects and most importantly we create an environment of love, kindness and compassion for our young people. What was the moment Sarah where you saw that gap and you thought let's get this off the <laughs> ground? <laughs> uh, I've been a mainstream mainstream teacher for years and I'd always wondered really what happened to the young people who fell out of the system. Um, I was lucky enough to have a role in South Auckland where I was in charge of the teaching and learning that went on for young people falling out of the mainstream system and we began as an arts access program so what wasn't happening in alternative education was access to the arts and I guess over the last seven years we've developed from that arts access into a robust educational model based on the teaching artist model that we've developed from professional development we've done in New York and um, we've developed over the last two years in Aotearoa along with the Tyndall Next Gen Fund and we also go deep into the lives of the kids that we work with. Well yeah I mean you know why are they falling out of the system what kind of challenges um, are around their lives? Yeah it's interesting because as an educator it's so rare that it's just an educational issue because in reality the kids we work with are dealing with pretty much all the social issues that New Zealand has and so they're living in lives of chaos, um, predominantly from Fano, who are dealing with the full on impacts of intergenerational poverty and unemployment and addiction in a lot of cases a lack of hope but I think the most important thing is like whilst that's the issues our young people are as intelligent, as creative, as insightful as any young person in New Zealand. And so while we, we acknowledge the issues because um, they're part of all of our lives, we're definitely very solutions focused and we look for what is, what is real and what is positive and what is amazing in our kids and develop that and then get them going on the path to adulthood. And what do you think it is that sparks the motivation to make some change? Uh, no doubt for us it's creativity and it's not it's not actually me anymore, I become less and less relevant to the young people as I get older, but what is relevant is artists, actors, musicians, and it's the super amazing cool people we put in front of the kids, and the, you know, we've worked with Lady Six, and Nika Moore, Oscar Kitely, Tawilla Blakely, the list goes on, and that's, a, that's the first spark of motivation, but the key thing that we focus on is self-motivation. So we create that love, kindness, compassion environment, we allow them to create, we um, engage with whānau and then the rest is up to them and it's that self-motivation and accountability that I think sets us apart. And what do you actually see the outcomes from this program? We are at the moment in conversation with the principals in South Auckland um, at the secondary schools to work in partnership to really keep our kids in the mainstream system and to be able to have a um, NRT Creative Academy. So we have our teaching artist model and our whānau centred work in Ōtara. We have a classroom in Ōtara now and really to grow and support young people to stay in school. But if they socially really can't deal with 2,000 kids at a school, then there's a place for the principals and the board of trustees of those schools who care deeply about these young people. There's some, somewhere not just good, but somewhere excellent that they can send them to us where they'll get NCA Level 1, Level 2 and also the New Zealand Certificate of Art and Design at Level 2 and Level 3. Okay, so what you're doing effectively is, because it's a big subject at the moment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Our lost youth, I guess, yep. the, the youth that don't feel like they have any direction in their lives. Yep. You're filling that gap. So how can the community get involved? Um, I feel like as a community we really need to think about what that word actually means and what, um, for me, it, what we're missing is actually that element of human connection. So if we think about the, and I think one of the big things we need to do is start to unpack the negative stereotypes and the fear-based media images that we have of the young people <laughs> we work with every day. Because if I think, of, I think of the stereotype of the young man, Māori Pacific, South Auckland, excluded from school, and then I imagine the young people, the amazing young people we actually work with, the disparity and difference between the, the stereotype and the reality is massive. And I think in that gap are all the issues that we have. So. What I think we do as a community is we have faith in ourselves as humans, but we have faith in other human beings as well to bridge that gap. 
Mm. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, for that is so amazing cool. Amazing program. Amazing work. Yeah. yeah. yeah Thanks for team. having me. Yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> and for more information about Nga Rangatahi Tour and how you can get involved, go to their website, uh, which is on screen right now.